Well, if you stepped outside today, you do not need me to tell you this. It does not feel like <laughs> May. This is a live look at the temperature on our weather porch, and I need to tell you that is warmer because of our lights out on the porch. So trust me, it is cooler outside, and we're calling this Blackberry winter. Yeah, that thermometer is a little deceiving. We want to bring in Cassie Knoll now, and Cassie has been cooler than average most of May. That's right. We ended up with temperatures during the first week of May that were below average. That was locust winter. Now we've got the below average temperatures for the second full week of May. And this is therefore now blackberry winter because our blackberry bushes are beginning to bloom. Now, does this mean that we are done with the cold snaps? Maybe, maybe not. If we look ahead for our East Tennessee little winters here, we still have the possibility of well, whooper will winter somewhere in between Blackberry and Britches winter and Britches winter named for the Lindsay Woolsey long underwear. <laughs> so get out your britches one more time. You may have to do that at the end of May or into early June. In the short term, though, we are actually going to be seeing a warming trend over the next five days. We'll go from below average nearly 10 to 15 degrees below our average high of 78 back up to near average by early next week. And if we look even farther ahead with our future cast jet stream pattern, look at these warmer oranges and reds starting to build in as we go through next week. The Climate Prediction Center agrees that we will have a decent chance of above average temperatures once we get into the latter parts of next week. So just hang in there a little bit longer. Wear those jackets tonight. We've got a warm up on the way back here to East Tennessee. I'll send it back to you.